starts first in terms of us as women and kind of owning our own destination. And I think a lot of that is dealing with exuding confidence because I think women have a lot that they bring to the party and if they can convey that confidence, I think it comes and shines through with a lot of women. Um, I think women also need to be willing to ask for what they want. Okay, you got to set your goals on something. You got to convince yourself that you're the right person, and you need to make yourself available. Everybody, you have to read the situation. Um, and I don't know if there is any magical thing. Um, and sometimes it is playing in the man's world. Um, you know, women keep themselves busy. Women are very productive. They're constantly move, move, move. And sometimes I think it is slowing it down enough to just get into that conversation, to just kind of fill into, and, and you know, oftentimes it's referred to as a good old boys network. It doesn't have to be a good old boys network. And so being able to just invite yourself in, um, I think is an important thing. I think the best mentorship um, when you're out seeking your own is to actually have balanced mentorship. I believe finding the woman role model is really important and having those conversations there. But I also think it's equally important to get the male role model. And for me, that really kind of starts um, even in the home. And when you think about the dad's responsibility and the dad's, I mean, if you think about some of these outstanding men, and I will use, you know, um, former President Barack Obama and the messages he would instill in his own daughters because it's more than just women mentors. It's the men who can help you feel that confidence and build your confidence um, alongside you. And you know, I think one of the things about Women's History Month is to me it's an opportunity to reflect and look and you know, take inventory on yourself. It's an opportunity to honor the women who've come before us and have made a real difference in the world. And I think it's an opportunity for us to re-engage ourselves and empower ourselves because by looking at what's around you, you realize you're not that different. As do you know who invented windshield wipers? It was a woman, okay? Why? What did that woman bring to the party? It was a safety issue, okay? And I mean, I have in my head this woman riding in a car alongside her husband and he can't see and she's like, oh my gosh, we need something to clean that window, you know? You take your practical skills, what you know best, and you apply them. Do you know who invented crossing gates? A woman. Again, seeing the safety and having an early warning system, you know. So there's a lot of things. We go back in history and we look at these things. I think they're really, they're fun, they're empowering. But, you know, those two examples I use, when you think about talking about women in history, sometimes you're looking for that superstar, you know, that, that did that grand thing. Mm -hmm. What I just gave you examples of were little tiny things that made a difference. And I think that helps us to say, at any level, we really can do things, make a difference, and have significant, major significant impact.